finally, our much anticipated renovation video that we've been talking about forever. Watch till the end. <laughs> So this video is just a little bit different, but I really think that you guys are going to enjoy it a lot. We know we did making it our long anticipated renovation of our back office. We've been telling you about it and here it is. Yep. So as you can see here, our bunk room was just a full size bed at the bottom. You got bunks on top. so. This is kind of the space we had to work with. We had big drawers, a little desk area in the corner over there. Again, plenty of room in the top bunks and the bottom bunks are gonna be going away. We still have the drawers here on the side and that's staying. But that bottom bunk is not going away entirely. We are just making it a transformer. You guys know how Adrian likes transformers, <laughs> right? Stupid. Yep. So my brother came down right after Thanksgiving with us. And me and Ruth got sick. We had the flu. So that's why he's unfortunately doing a lot of the work. So thank you, brother, for all your help with this. You'll see the transformation of how he converted the bunk into a desk. And the process of it. Let's show you that now. So, mattress is gone. Eventually, this piece from here, all the way to here, is gonna be gone. And then I'll have an L-shaped desk that I can work off of, where it makes the space a little bigger for me. Made solid, so we're gonna have to cut this. This could just come This can actually just stay there. Yeah. This actually won't work. Uh, do you have a sawzall? Yeah, I think so. So this will stay. All this will stay. Should we take this frame out? Yeah. Yeah, so. Red. This is gonna come up, come out. This is gonna have to, yeah, that, all this is gonna stay. That's gonna have to come out. This vent, <coughs> you can just move right there. Yeah, it could just go right there. It's fine. You don't even need to re relocate this vent because that's what this one is. Like I, I don't even. That's just air to go into. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the furnace. Yeah. So yeah. there's just an area for air to build up. Yeah. So. So I mean, technically we can. Leave it there. I mean, you 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 could just you could just push it back here. Once whatever, whatever you get your finish panel. Yeah. Um, just set it there. You're, I mean, you're only getting that much air moving through it anyway. So. Yeah. Huh. This is crazy. It feels so cheap. All right. This should be the right blade. I don't know. Uh, you, you, you want you want to you want to find like a metal blade. Did I say or what? We could use that. It'll take a little longer to cut, but it'll be a lot cleaner. You're gonna have holes in your floor. Huh? You're gonna have a couple of holes in your floor. Maybe. Oh, from the thing, yeah.
So there's the outside storage. Huh? Um, you call it? This is where the drawers were. So I'm gonna lose this space, but I'm gonna gain it as a desk, which is much better. But we can still use it as a uh, a bed later. Just, I don't know, I'm just getting at it. <laughs> <laughs> So this view you guys are used to because we do our lives in here and we didn't want to reveal everything until we put out this video. A lot of you will probably ask why would they demo and renovate a fairly new RV when it was just perfectly fine. Well, here's the reason because we are full time and Adrian is still works remote from wherever we're at the reasons why we did this are so that we could have a functional office for him while not taking away space just in case our grandkids or our family came this is why we wanted to make it a functional office and let it work for both so one thing we thought about was should we do this? Is it going to lower the value of the RV as a trade-in? We actually went back and forth yeah. a lot thinking about it. And as you guys know, we were even we even shopped around for RVs and came very close to pulling the trigger on several of them. Yep. When we took this down to uh, West Palm for the service and, and some other things, uh, we spoke with our rep van and... He actually saw it and loved it. Another thing, when we were in the Tampa RV show, the product manager for the Transcends really liked the idea. And we are going to, I'm sending some pictures to him. So the fact that we took the bed away is not a permanent thing. So it's still, we added more functionality to it. And I think that now with all the people who are going full-time RV and a lot of them are still working remotely makes it a need for something like this even more. And you're always seeing um, toy haulers yeah. where they turn their, their, their back patios into office. And during the RV show, we saw a lot of, of RVs where they have a, a workspace area now because... I think the industry is starting to see that this is a need for people that work remote and, you know, I, I need, I, we're content creators, I need to pay a space to work, which we'll be showing you, but. But with only having one slide out, it didn't give us a whole lot of options to make a working space anywhere else. So Adrian came up with this design an idea that we would use the back bunk room and still be able to use it as a place for our family to come and enjoy camping with us. Yep. And then the reason I made my brother come down here with us, um, and I felt bad again, we were sick and he drove the whole way down. We for were the most sick part. as dogs. And I think actually you can hear me even in the video. If you listen closely, I'm moaning yeah. in the video because <laughs> we were hurting. We both have fevers yep. and I felt so bad because I knew that at some point we would get him sick and we did. Yeah, he didn't get as sick as us, but he still, but the reason I wanted him down here is because he's great at woodworking. Um, he builds things and... You know, I, I'm, I'm pretty good at that stuff. My dad taught me a lot of it. But at the same time, I wanted his um, feedback on it. And you'll see in the video where we kind of brainstorm on how to do it. So, check it out. All right. So, we have a dilemma here. I'm trying to figure out how long the dust should be. Do we eat up into the space? The out outside storage space six inches well, you, you just you just want to have the uh um, bring it over this way and lose six inches here on the floor well you, you definitely want to make it you definitely want to keep the full size bed right 
Yeah, because then I gotta go out and buy another mattress and all that crap. Because it'll cost me more money. Alright, so then we'll, we'll run with that then. So, um. I mean, even if I bring it to here and the bed overhangs a little, I can make it go up the wall and it's fine. I think he's a I think we got this figured out. I think my brother's got this figured out. But we'll let uh, the master of none explain it to you. So we, we, we have the um, the IKEA desktop, countertop, whatever it is. And it comes in different lengths. So we're going to run one that runs from wall to wall uh, over here. So you have like, it's going to be like a, like a giant L-shaped desk. Um, this one's going to be here. We have to buy another piece of this to fill into the back so it's going to be a really deep desk and then when you want to use it as a bed we're going to have a leg that folds out from inside here to here um just we'll put like a two by four support here and then we'll have just a leaf that opens up and fits right on it um that way you know you can still use it as a bed but then when you don't need it as a bed um which i mean it's going to be a desk i imagine 95 percent of the time yeah so and then you have all the space you need um, and then you still have the space underneath for, uh, for your legs. The heating vent we're going to relocate back to over here and put a, a, a grill so that air comes in too. It'll probably work better there too because right yeah. here it, it, was, it was shooting the heat into yeah. the corner. So I mean, yeah. in that corner over there it's going to be shooting it out into the right. space. So, it, it, so it'll, 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 it'll help. Work and yes, this is what happens when you renovate in an RV. You got to have no space for nothing. Yeah. So, so that corner piece will be gone. And then we left the overhang, like you said, just to make sure you got some leg room underneath it. So you have that space. Yeah. And we'll get a sheet of this, um, yeah, the, know, whatever it is. The and paneling. we'll close it so it'll look factory. It'll look, it'll, like, it'll, it'll, look, it'll look like it came this way. Yep. And then this top here, that's a different color. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and take that out. And then it'll be the same as this all, all throughout. So this is where we're at. Just wanted to give you... Here's my back storage, like I showed you before. This way, we don't have to eat into that. And I still have, you know, I mean, you see, before I had nothing. Now I actually have a space. And if I keep it as a desk, there's still buck beds on top. So it works out pretty well. Yeah, so you only have to change it into a bed if you have enough people. Yep. So, so take a look at this video. If you haven't subscribed... Hit the like button, hit the subscribe and notifications to all. Sorry, I've been sick. Um, Ruth is out sick as well. My brother, so far, so good. Yeah. Black on wood. On but check out his channel. There's going to be a link below where this video is going to be there as well. Um, along with a project that we did at his house uh, doing a countertop with concrete. So mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's see what we do next. All right, so working on removing this part. And how are you doing that? Uh, we're going to use this vibrating tool. Should give us a nice clean cut. Just got to be careful um, to stay on the line uh, where we're cutting through initially. So, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of better saws that we could use for it. Um, and if I was home and I had all my tools at my disposal, we'd probably, um, but we're going to use what we got. This is what, but. But, so that's what we're going to do. So then this way, this piece is here. And then... There'll be, like you said, a, a folding piece that comes out this way. And then you put another piece and then you can have a full use of the mattress again. So...
it's got a screw. Yeah. No, it's just, it's still, I, I don't want to cut all the way through. Oh, I know what I'm doing. What? There's, um, there's a little bit of a trim piece. Oh, is there? Yeah, at the bottom. Huh. Oh, yeah. Get up there. Go. Go. Oh, yeah. That trim piece like that. A lot more space now. Yeah. Even, yeah. even with the little overhang, it's perfect. One screw. Yeah, so there's a lot of little hidden things that these guys do when they build these RVs. Just a vent. Yeah. And then this just clips into the center like that. Okay. And it spins. So luckily it didn't break. It's all good. We can reuse it. It has to get relocated over there. Yeah, As so the vent could be shortened. Yeah, so we'll cut this vent back and then we'll put this right there and then you can have the other tall yep. uh, the vent the intake. The furnace right above it. Um chicken coop out of recycled materials now you see I why i think i could match with he's the master of none he makes everything work so, so that piece there should be the finish make it look a little finished compared to the rest of it and we stole that from this this is where the drawers were and the intake vent now it looks nice and finished all right, so that's where the desktop is going to end up. Let's see. It's a nice working area. I think I like it. You There's so much more room. Yeah, to move around. Because even if I close the door, like I've done before, I still have. I mean, look, you come in, yeah. and I can still close the door. Like before, still, you're, you're probably pinned before I was like, <laughs> I felt like I was in a fighter jet. Or something. Oh. <laughs> the fell behind there. Mm. Piece of wood. Rose. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Can you get it from there? Yeah. We locked ourselves in without even thinking about it. The boom. Oh no, this. So I like it because it gives me enough room. She could be over there blabbing or whatever, and I could be in here working for work and for doing my videos and everything else. So it works out perfect. And I still have bunk beds up here. I still have these bunk beds. So if someone comes to stay, and then this will get this will be a bed where you'll have the piece come out of here, and then another piece that goes on top, and then the full size bed will go back up here. So, but I'll have, you know, now I can put my printer, I can put all the stuff, so it's perfect. Thanks, brother. Good job. Well, we still got some work to do. Yeah. So, this here, we'll, we'll get, um, we'll get some of this paneling ordered up, and we'll get it uh, covered up to make it look good. Well, here you go. This is what it looks like. So what do you think? Are you happy with it? I actually like it a lot. And if we're going to be really transparent, which I always am, and you guys know I am who I am, and I'm always... She's loud. I didn't know that, apparently. Okay. It, well, you got <laughs> that one wrong. 
you guys know that I will always say the truth. And when he first told me about what he was going to do, I was like, Ooh, Adrian, are you sure? Because I didn't have the vision like he did. And all I saw was this piece of, you know, pressed board on top of there that where the bed was at. And I was like, uh, I don't know if we should do that, yeah. but I, I got to tell you guys, and as you guys see, it actually looks good and it is functional and will work for both, which is what's important. Yeah. And, you know, she does a lot of stuff during the day too, so she could come in here and do her thing, like got my editing, and I'm going to show you step by step on what it looks like and how we ended up doing things. That way you get uh, the final result. Yeah, and let us know what you think below. Tell us uh, if you've done any kind of renovations. Let us know if you would have done anything different or if you like it. Yep. Tell us in the comments below. And let's take you on a little tour now. All right, so let's check it out. Take you on a little tour. So as you can see, we have the desk and we have bunk beds. So it's the L-shaped bunk bed as you saw in the video. Okay. And let's start from this side over. So we have our TV that's been here the whole time. Cool thing with this TV is before I used to have everything connected here, right? Monitor, the whole thing. But every time with type, it was like real bouncy. It just, it wasn't work. It didn't work right. So I'm keeping this as an arm where I can use so I can move, you know, set up a camera, get a second angle when I start doing some of my tech videos. Um, the other cool thing is this, you know, for me to work, this is my work laptop. So I can just turn it on, go to work, and then use the TV as a second monitor. So I have that to be able to, um, you know, work and function. We still have our cubby spaces. Um, I have these baskets that store everything. I have some gear and equipment, and then there's games in the back for the grandkids. Down here is some of my stuff that I you know my video gear so it's kind of out of the way um whoop. all right so over here this is our light when you see our lives this is the light I use you see it's pretty bright I can you know connect it change it do whatever I have my two 27 inch monitors there with my laptop and my keyboard, mouse, so I can edit as you can see I was working on the video. I have a um, microphone set up here. This is where we do our lives. Okay, so that bar, I installed it so that I can clamp in all, anything I need to be able to, you know, have all my gear. I, I put it there. So I have microphone, I have my camera. I have a monitor so I can see what's going on. Then I have my clock, which is also a timer. So when we do our lives, I set it for one hour and it counts down. So then I know how much time we have left in the live. Moving over a little more that way. I have my little reminder of when my videos need to go out. Which videos are kind of scheduled for what days. Um, have some of my cameras there. That thing over there used to be on, on this wall on the left, but I moved it over. That's my charging station for all my batteries, for everything. I have my printer. And then I put this little little sign here that gives me a little bit of, uh, you know, we can put different messages or whatever. Um, the stool, I usually sit on this and Ruth will sit on, on this here. As you saw in the video, one of the things that we were going to do is get, hey honey, say hi honey. One of the things we were going to do is to get um, the same wall finish, but I think the black looks better. So I got these panels at Home Depot and, you know, we we're able to to get them to get a little more light down there. There's a piece there that I have that I have to, that still got some finishing touches. A um, piece of molding there to finish it. So there's the vent that we relocated. So it'll, it'll, you know, suck in air and then it pumps out heat right from there. Um, I keep this table here folded off to the side if I need it. Um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, this is 
this is our space now and it's nice because as you can see still have the top bunk with plenty of room for someone you know this is just storage stuff that you know we could always put on our in our permanent storage right up the street but in a pinch we still have a twin size bed up here so as you can see it opens it way up it does it does him and i can both be comfortably in here and close the door now as to where before you know we're both a little chunky we used to fit like this <laughs> yep so it opens it up and there's uh Honey, put her new pillow. I must say, I do like it. If you guys have any questions of what we did and how we did it, again, put it down in the comments. We're here to help. This has been the one thing we were missing out of our RV. So now this is one of the reasons why we're not buying a new RV for any time yes. soon. Because it's functional for us now. And guys, stay tuned. Because we have some more renovations coming up for you. Yeah, Ruth is and the be next one is going to on, be off. exciting. We actually have several things coming up. So most importantly, don't forget to hit that like button. Turn that notification to all. Because you don't want to miss any of our renovations or upcoming exciting trips. Like Van Life Puerto Rico. So until the next time. Hasta la próxima. <laughs>